Hello and welcome to Transform Today, a place where we can have an open and honest conversation despite, of our, despite our differences. Why? Because it's the right thing to do. So let's get right to it. Well, today I'd like to talk to you guys, uh, start off with uh, sharing some interests in my life. That's kind of the, the, the format that I've been following here. And I want to talk about hobbies. Um, another way to describe hobbies, I suppose, is uh, those things that we pass our time with. Uh, that keep fill our days uh, besides our work and whatever else kind of fill our days. Um, and I want to talk about it especially because of these last few months has been difficult maybe for some of you to do those hobbies that, uh, or those things that you enjoy to pass the time. So I just want to start by sharing uh, some of mine, but I want to share, well, i begin with my, one of my mother's pastimes. Uh, quick story, uh, my mother was born in 1930. She went through the war years in Europe. Uh, they were farmers, so suffice it to say that she made a lot of our own clothes. When we were kids, we were well-dressed kids, and because uh, and my mother made the clothes. My dad didn't make lots of money. Uh, my mother, and this is just the way she did it. She passed her time by making clothes for us. She did a lot of other things, too. One of the things that she did that I have here in my office, hanging on the wall, uh, kind of helps me remind me of my mom. My mom died in 2009, January 2009, and I... I miss her every day, but uh, you know I have a piece of her with me here in a way. Uh, she did needlepoint, I think that's what it's called, and she did this one. I want to share this with you, the praying hands. Now, it's not original with her, obviously. That's a, that's a very popular uh, symbol that's out there. You could find it online everywhere. But she did that, put that together, and it hangs up on my wall, and it reminds me... Uh, a lot of things about my mother, and one of the things that reminded me about my mother is how she prayed. She prayed for me and her family and, and many people over the years, and, and I credit her prayers in my life for my coming to faith in Jesus Christ. So um, this is something that hangs on my wall. That my mother did all sorts of needlepoint. I can't remember if that's what that's called. I think it is. Um, all sorts of things and all sorts of gifts. She gave it to all sorts of people over the years. So that was kind of one thing my mom did that, that's, you know, kind of interesting. So I'll just share a few of the things that that's, I've got going on now. Um, I like to read. I don't read as much as I used to. Um, I've got all, you can look in the back here, you can see all sorts of books. Some of those are work-related uh, because I am a pastor, but uh, lots of those are not. Like in the back there, you might see a couple more shelves. Uh, there's books that I read for interest. I read in three areas my profession, if you want to call it that. Um, uh, something that I've never understood or want to learn something, and I read uh, no, uh, non-fiction books, um, or fiction books, um, and I like the Sherlock Holmes genre. Not necessarily Sherlock Holmes, but that kind of stuff. So I read there. Another thing that I like to do is fly this little drone. Now you notice here, it's a Cool little drone here. Uh, it's quite amazing what technology has done now. That this, this is probably the smallest one I've seen around. Uh, it, it, a full battery charge here lasts about five minutes. And the cool thing is when the battery, before the battery completely goes dead, it, it knows that, has a little bit of intelligent design in here, and it just lands itself wherever it is. Uh, it's quite maneuverable, and I've actually gotten quite good at it. Uh, I got a lot more to learn, but it's it's five minutes of, of just kind of enjoyment. Um, and I don't do it all the time. It sits on my shelf here once in a while. Uh, when I want a break, I want, I'm working on a sermon or whatever I'm doing, I take a break and voila. I go out there, I spend five minutes, it clears my head and plug it back in and wait for another time. So that's one of my little, my little enjoyments in life, a little hobby that I do. Another one that I picked up... Uh, one that I started years ago, I learned to ride a motorcycle. And I didn't have lots of motorcycles in my life, but I did have a few. And um, basically, when I got married and started having children, uh, you know the story. Uh, that's one of those uh, hobbies, if you want to call it that, and that's what it was at the time, um, had to go away. Because, you know, again, it's all about finances. And when you have children, it, it just changes your whole course of your life. And that's fine. But I picked it up again now that my kids are all grown and adults and out of the house. 
I picked up motorcycle. So 2018, I picked my up a motorcycle. Uh, it's a Boulevard, and um, it's a cruiser style bull, uh, vehicle. It's kind of cool. And so some of the things that I have to now wear, are, for example, helmets. Uh, I have to wear gloves. I bought these cool gloves here. I got a couple of different ones because sometimes it gets cold. This is not good for cold weather. Uh, bandana there, you know, got to have the cool effect, but also you can cover your mouth for it and keep the bugs out of it. Uh, don't mind these, but some uh, ear earplugs and, of course, the helmet itself. Uh, half helmet or beanie, I think that's what it's called. Uh, that's my favorite style. I do have a full face mask and helmet, I mean, but that's just a... That's part of it. And then I have, of course, my motorcycle jacket. Uh, it's not a leather, but nonetheless, it's a motorcycle jacket. And, uh, you know, I got my own little things happening on here and my name tape here. I got my own, my own motorcycle name. It says Sky Pilot. Uh, for those of you know, don't know, that me, I'm a reserve chaplain with Canadian Armed Forces. And Sky Pilot is, is the term for, for chaplain. But, you know, a couple of little patches here. Uh, kind of have a couple patches here. I like to make sure that no one bullies anyone. Uh, with the unit I used to belong to, and then uh, when I did the operation, operation overseas, and you probably didn't hear me because I had my microphone covered. That's uh, NATO uh, stabilization force in Bosnia back in the day, and then I uh, ended up through my association with the military. Uh, being asked to participate with a motorcycle club. And um, this is a veterans club that has members. Uh, you don't have to be a veteran to join it, but uh, has RCMP and police, I mean police and military, and some are serving, some are not serving. And it's been around for a lot of years in Canada, and it's got different chapters across the country. And it's called Defenders Club. So uh, here in Alberta, we're Chapter 9 of the Defenders Club. And... This one here is a patch where you put for uh, fallen members. This is one of our members that, that died, and this is how we remember him. So that's kind of the, the hobby that I'm doing now. Uh, so it's more than a hobby. It, well, it's a hobby, basically. And uh, so I just try to share those things. Too. So what kind of hobbies, what kind of things do you do to pass time? I know during this past few months with coronavirus, some of those things that you probably used to enjoy you can't do anymore because well maybe they you were going to the gym or something like that and that's one of the things that I have to figure out too because I loved going to the gym and working out and all that sort of stuff so now I have to figure out how to do it anyways um, one of the things that I do that I've been doing for a lot of years is theology and that's a word that means trying to uh, getting to know God and the way I get to know God is through his word. And uh, as we kind of wrap this up for today, I just wanted to uh, just share something that I found in God's word as a Christian. And uh, you might not be a Christian that hears this, and that's fine. But I just want to share that with you anyways. And, um, you know, it's, it's been difficult, hasn't it? There's been some struggles and you know, some fear and anxiety out there. And, and uh, one of the things that maybe sometimes uh, creep up on us is our, is, our, is, is our mental health takes a beating during times like this. Um, we don't even realize it sometimes. The brain is complex. God created an amazing, amazing uh, organ in our body. And um, so uh, I was just reading today in, in the Psalms and about a fellow by the name of David, and he was struggling here too. And he says uh, in, his, uh, in his Psalm 61, Hear my cry, O God, listen to my prayer. Maybe some of you have been, whether you believe in God or not, you've been throwing out that, hear my prayer, O God, what's going on today? And he goes on to say, from the ends of the earth, I call to you. I call, and, and he's really being honest here, as my heart grows faint. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. So he's, he's just appealing to God. And then he remembers what he knew about God, what he's always known about God. For you've been my refuge. Do you hear that? His refuge was God, a strong tower against the foe. Whatever he was facing at this time, he knew that God would be his refuge. 
And then he goes on to say, I long to dwell in your tent forever. And, and again he says, I take refuge in the shelter of your wings. And this is, this is, this is important that, uh, for me anyways, as I deal with uh, you know, the, the world that's changed so much in the last few months, um, that I, I can, I've spent you know, a number of years trying to understand how God works in and through my life and those around me, and certainly as a pastor, and as a chaplain, military chaplain. And uh, it's good to, you know, this is not a pastime for me. This is something solid. This is the rock I can, I can hang my hat on, if you will. I can put my beanie, my helmet on there, and, and I can rest in that and know that God is my refuge in time of uncertainty. So when I go for a motorbike ride by myself, or if I'm, to, for example, today I'm going to meet someone, we're going to go for a little spin. Um, when I'm by myself, I focus on the job at hand. And it, it helps. It helps my mental health. It helps with me sometimes processing some of those thoughts. I'm not trying to, I'm not daydreaming because it's dangerous to drive and daydream even in any vehicle. But I just wanted to encourage you to, you know, if you have a hobby uh, or you don't have a hobby, uh, maybe you should get one. It'll help, your, it'll help you. It'll keep your mind off uh, a lot of things. It'll help your mental health. It'll certainly help your physical health, I'm sure because it's all connected, right? So uh, we're, one, we're one unit, we're not pieces, and God didn't create us that way. So um, I encourage you uh, to stick with your hobbies. Um, maybe you want to do needlepoint like my mom and give a memory to your children or your grandchildren or your friends or your family or whoever, and uh, they will always have that maybe on the wall to remember you by when you're not here anymore. And uh, I just thank you. Thank you for paying attention. And if you're listening to this, I appreciate you being here with me. Uh, make a comment if you wish. I'll interact with you. I'm, I'm happy to do that. Thank you so much. And uh, just have yourself a great day. Uh, shalom.